Welcome to the Advanced Hobby Lab. I finally got my hands on Raspberry Pi 5 and I wanted to do a quick unboxing video for you. I got this from pieshop.us. I also got it with the SD card as well as a case and a new power supply. All right, let's open it up. This board comes with an ARM quad core 2.4 gigahertz processor. That's about three times faster than the Raspberry Pi 4. It also comes with four and eight gigabyte RAM variants. It has onboard Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, a new PoE connector, dual purpose display and camera connectors, a new PCIe connector that officially supports PCI Express 2.0, but can be configured up to PCI Express 3.0. Unfortunately, you're going to need a separate hat or adapter in order to take advantage of existing PCIe devices. It also comes with a UART port for debugging and a connector for a battery for the real-time clock. On the back, it has two USB 2, two USB 3, and a gigabit Ethernet port. On the side, it has two HDMI ports that support 4K monitors, as well as a USB-C port for power. On the front, it has the all new power button with a status LED. And on the back of the card, it has the SD card slot. All right, let's open up the case. On this side, we have the power and HDMI ports. In the front, we have access to the new power button. And in the back, you have your USB and ethernet port. The top can be removed to reveal a case fan. Inside the case, there's a small packet of accessories. These accessories include rubber feet and a heat sink. The feet can be added to the grooves on the bottom side of the case, like so. The heat sink can simply be adhered to the top of the CPU. To install the Pi, simply open up the case, insert the Pi, be sure to attach the case fan, and then close up the case. And don't forget to install the SD card. Well that's all for this video. If you found this helpful, please be sure to give me a like. You may also be interested in some other videos I publish that may or may not include the Raspberry Pi 5. Thanks for watching.